Hey everybody, welcome to the Comedypreneur Show. I'm James Crevison, and this week, today, I want to talk about things that I learned from Gary Vee that helped my comedy, okay? And this is a really interesting thing because this part of the reason why I actually started the Comedypreneur Show is because of Gary Vee. If you're not familiar with Gary Vee, uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, a lot of people know him. He's kind of brash, and uh, he's like the Dana White of business. Like, if Dana White just was overall business and marketing and stuff, um, he's a great guy. He's from New York. Jets fan, really cool, has some great books. I recommend reading his books, um, but he really taught me a lot, and I was listening to a lot of his talks before I ever bought his books, and just a lot of people on YouTube brought it up. So Gary V helped me, and I thought I would pass on what I learned from Gary V. So we'll start here. Let's jump into it, and let's talk about things that I learned from Gary V that made me a better comedian, okay? Uh, helped me in my comedy and stuff. So here we go. Uh, the first thing is artists need to think like entrepreneurs. So it's not about like partnering up. It's about learning what skills you have and to be good at what you're good at. So if you're a good joke writer, work on that skill. Keep building that skill and think about hiring people to help you with things. Uh, so, you know, maybe you're good at writing jokes, but you're not good on stage. Um, so maybe you could partner with somebody or you could sell those jokes, right? Um if you are a great stand-up comedian, but you suck at social media, like I do, I'm not good at that stuff. I don't want. First of all, I don't want to do any of that stuff, and that puts me at a severe disadvantage. But I do YouTube, I do stuff like that. So I, I write books, I like do other things. So in the end, it's just like okay, I'll find another way around. I don't want to go that social media route. You could, but if you are not good at social media, maybe you're just not. That's not your thing. You can get uh, outsource marketing, sales. You can outsource uh, people to make flyers. I know people that outsource people to make flyers for their comedy shows, editors to edit your stand-up videos, all that kind of stuff. You can outsource it instead of spending your time trying to learn a new skill that you're not good at or that you're going to be like a two out of ten at when you're a nine or eight out of ten at stand-up or uh, performing. Get that up to a ten. Have someone else do the other thing, and you could get to a 10 because you're not wasting your time getting to a 2 on some other skill. And, right, you could try those things, right? But your time is better spent being creative or learning how to sell, uh, you know, be good on stage, sell that joke, and be better at performing. So think about this. Is your time better spent um, getting better at stand-up or better spent trying to sell one more ticket to your show, right? It's not, if it's, if you're me, right? I'd rather make stuff. I'd rather be able to sell the things I make. I'm good at writing. I'm good at writing jokes. I'm good at screenplays. I'm good at doing stand-up. I'm good at all those things. I'm not great at video editing. I'm not great at um, making the, the, the thumbnails for YouTube. I'm not good at that stuff. You know, I outsource some of those things. Those thumbnails that you see in all my stuff, I don't do those. I outsource them, Right. You have, if you have the ability to sell or you have the ability to do marketing, great. If it's if it's a minimal skill, I edit my own videos just because right now I don't have the money for all of that. But at some point, I would love to outsource the videos so they're better because then I'll be a better person, right? I'll be better at this. I can work on other things for you guys. So just do what you can. Uh, work on on whatever you can. And you see that I'm not selling you anything, right? I tell you what I like. I tell you what I have. I tell you what's helped me. And I don't sell. I could sell, right? I have an MBA. I've done sales. I don't like to sell. I like to show people and teach people. That's what my thing is. That's what I'm good at. That's what I do is I like to share. And so think about that. Next thing is time is valuable. So like I said, don't waste your time leveling up in a weak skill that you can outsource, right? Level up in the skill that you're great at. Why try to level up your Instagram game when you can outsource to people who are awesome at it? You can take that time to work on your stand-up, your writing, your streaming, your podcast, whatever other thing you are actually good at naturally. Level up that skill so you go from a 7 or an 8 to a 10. Do that. That's the thing you should be doing, right? So don't waste your time. Outsource what you can if you can afford it. And maybe you have a good friend who's like great at Instagram. And you're like, hey, I'll pay you 20 bucks a month to run my Instagram. I'll send you the pictures or whatever. You caption and do all the stuff. I know people that run other people's TikTok accounts. I know people that run other Instagram accounts. All that kind of stuff. Do that, right? Here's the other one. Don't waste your creativity. It's a gift. If you're watching this and you're a stand-up com comedian, you're an improviser, you're a, you, you do sketch, you're a comedy writer, whatever you are, if you're creative, that's a gift, man. Like, a lot of people are not creative. Walk around the world. I'm sure you've met those people who don't get what you they, they say to you. I could never get on stage and tell jokes to strangers. I could never uh, 
just improvise off the top of my head and come up with a scene. I could never sit down and write a five minute sketch and then record it and put it on Instagram. I could never do that. Those people, you're you're above them. Not that you're better than them, but you're creative and creativity is, is a skill that we need. Think of all the great things that are made in the world, right? Creativity wise. If it wasn't for a creative person like Elon Musk, we wouldn't have Tesla. We wouldn't be sending ships up to the to Mars and stuff. Like creativity breeds something different and you're unique. Don't waste your creativity. It's a gift. Too many people look at it and think, how do I make money with that? That's the that's the that's the wrong viewpoint, right? They spend time trying to profit and make less stuff instead of share it. Once you if you make more things, if you're being more creative, you're outputting more stuff eventually people will buy your creativity. It's going to happen, right? We see that all the time. The more you do, the more things you have in the world, the better off you get. From my own personal experience, I was posting jokes on Twitter. Someone hired me to write jokes for them. That person hiring me to write jokes for them led to other people hiring me to write jokes for them. That person then came back and said, hey, can you help me write a TV pilot? I worked on a TV pilot with them. I was supposed to get staffed. That didn't work out. But it led to another writing gig where I wrote the web series Abracadabra. That series turned into scripts and s- sketches and all kinds of other stuff, commercial writing. All these different things that I do now would not have been possible if I didn't just... No one was paying me to write jokes on Twitter. No one was paying me to write silly, crazy things. But I was doing it anyways. And I was posting my stand-up. I was posting jokes. I was posting whatever. I was like, okay, cool. I'm just going to do that. And somebody said, hey, I like what you're doing. Can I pay you to do that? Boom. Boom. It happens. It happens way more than you think. Next thing is learn to delegate. So you can always outsource, right? Like I said, I outsource thumbnails, outsource uh, my blog editing, I outsource audio editing on uh, my my other stuff. Not on this video. I love the video editing. I'm I'm working on that. It's a skill that I want to do because I want to be a filmmaker, right? And I do all the work for my clients too. I they outsource content to me. There's always someone outsourcing to somebody, right? And and I'm thinking. If I just keep grinding, I can support myself, right? I'm hoping that next year when all this is over and things get back to normal, I can support myself 100% off of writing and doing other stuff like that. Then I can expand more on Comedypreneur. I can start making more videos. I can do all these things. I wanted to record a, a comedy album this year. Didn't get to do it. So I know that if I can delegate things, and that's the thing is when I go to make my comedy album, I'm going to delegate the audio to somebody. I'm going to delegate delegate the audio editing to somebody, the cover art, all that stuff. I'm not going to do any of that stuff. I'm going to delegate it out because I know I'm not going to be able to do as good of a job because that's not my specialty, right? So make a plan and think about the things that you can outsource in what you're doing currently. If you can afford it or if you can find somebody to partner with, um, do that. Maybe you have a friend who's a great videographer but a bad editor, but you're a good editor and a bad videographer. So you guys just swap those back and forth, and there you go. You know, I've performed Zoom shows. I've written things. I've, there's so many things I want to do, and, I, and I'm and i trying to figure out the skills that I want to level up that are not going to be a waste of my time, that are going to benefit everybody, and then also I can outsource the other stuff. So just think about that. Think about all the things that you can do that you can outsource, that you can delegate. What are you going to do to make your comedy business or your creative business thrive and not be stagnant, right? Art is valuable. It is. It's one of the most valuable things. Don't waste your time with other things that are not your art, right? Be creative and let someone else handle the rest. That's the biggest thing I take took from Gary Vee is creativity is a valuable commodity. Don't waste your creative talents trying to pursue other stuff. Level up to 10 there. Anything else that you're not you, you're not a five, six, seven, eight out right now. If you don't think you're going to get any better, delegate to somebody else. Go whatever. I do as much delegation as possible. I hope this helps you guys. I hope this gets you fired up because I know it got me fired up to delegate more things, try to figure out what I need to level up in my personal life and in my business life to get better. And I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Tell me what you want me to talk about and investigate and figure out for you. And we'll go there. Have a great week. Talk to you soon. Bye.